And we are live from Philadelphia, said to be a city of firsts. And the first time I saw a spinal cord wrapped around a goalpost was right here at Too Big to Fail Financial Stadium. Both teams hit the field, ready to hit each other in this NFL matchup. The Purple Mutant Eaters go up against the Philadelphia Eagles. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hi again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with the only guy to ever get cut from the league for testing positive for not taking enough steroids or mutant growth hormones, Brickhead Mulligan. Hey, there was a reason for that. I had to quit taking steroids. My nutsack was shrinking, and I sprouted this mini-me on my shoulder. Bricks Jr., freak me out. You're a pussy. And it's first and ten. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. They go to work feet dirty brick. He's so fast he won't. And that's a first down. Looks like they're just gonna pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. I call that the honeymoon offense. I'm not gonna touch that one. That's what she said. Spilling your food, idiot. And this is a first and long, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. First down in a mile. Nicely done. Picks up three on that pass play. Ooh la la. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. When the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, you ever hear that Zappa song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go? Don't you eat that yellow 
snow. When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, eh, they didn't taste so good. Oh, great pass on that play. They caught the defense napping. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. Oh, no good. Now that punter's going to find a cutoff But He just let that one drop and played safe, and the defense says we'll take it. And it's first and ten. Welcome to McRoyd Rage. How can I help you? Yeah, I'll take a double Roy burger, large Roy fries, and a big Roy go. Uh, anything else? Yeah, I'm just going to rip your head off and get out of here. That's about it. And like bricks and balls, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. First down of seven. That's a six-yard gain. Second down and two. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a great turn. Look, guys, that's supposed to be impartial, but this ref is so dirty. He should be where he's most at home, buried in the dirt. Second down and a lot. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Second down and ain't going to happen, partner. And they call a ginormous dirty trick. He's so big that the last time he saw nine. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. Third down and, well, good luck. The defender says, it's mine, and he comes away with the power. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And it's first and ten. The Roid Rage dirty trick transforms a player into a rampaging lunatic for the duration of the play. I know that's typical. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Second down and ten. And he picks up about six on the play. Third and four. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. He picks.
Picks up a two. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Oh, oh, could it be mine? And that'll be second and eight to go. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Third down and eight. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And this field goal is certainly within the kicker's range. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, he just got crushed! And it's first and ten. One in for the first down. And it's first and ten. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the changes, score, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. Third down and five. He dropped it, you putts. And this is going to be a rocket shot to the moon. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just get the points. Let's move on. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And it's first and ten. Second down and seven. You've got to catch that. And that'll bring up third down and seven. This is your brain, and this is your brain on Berserk. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? And he's off to the races. Oh, what a run there. Touchdown. No one was going to stop him. And these guys 
Jack been kicking us for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Glenn. Yeah, bigger than yours. And the defense comes up big, stopping a two-point attempt. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. Love the sound of bones snapping and cracking. I mean, when they're not yawn. And that'll bring up second and one. First down. First and ten. Second down in a very lot. First and ten. And he just slipped away like an oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. Two minutes left in the half. First down and five. They're going for two. And he makes the grab and adds two points to their score. points you need to get them back here comes the kickoff let's see if they can make them pay oh that was a big hit hey bricks i bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career ah uh, let's see about a quarter after three grim but my watch is a bit slow Oh, Razor through the defense, cutting a defender in half. That means you can wrap up. You ever have a bottle of hot sauce shoved up your ass? Quite the description of that painful hit, Junior. Huh? No, no, it's a question here on this online dating profile. It doesn't say if on purpose or by accident. Yeah, I'll leave it blank. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. And it's first and ten. And the defense play. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Hey, man, I was here on the now. You know what happened? Well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? 
Well, I'm speaking from experience, Quinn. But it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. needs a miracle. He is fighting for every yard. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Yeah, viewers at home, don't worry. He doesn't have plays. He's just not a very good dancer. I have plays and I can't dance that good. I would uh, think you to stay on the other side of the booth, Bricks. <laughs> point attempt. It's good. I think I shot my midnight. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. They pick up three on a short pass. Second down and seven. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. And the offense goes into a hurry-up to pick up the pace of the game. his way out of that tackle one time when i was playing a guy hit me so hard i went into a dark tunnel thought i saw my grandparents waving at me in the light turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into and it was the pair and that's the end of the second quarter someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers stay with us for the halftime show brought to you by our friends at monsatan industries we make genetically altered franken food you'll have fun trying to identify Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I do. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! Man, what a hit that was! And it's first and ten. Cornerback is down. Zoom in on his face. I want to see if the little bastard's crying. Second down in a mile.
First and ten. Foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. point attempt. Straight through the uprights. Think I shown my card. 
The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Second down and a very lot. And that one's incomplete. The receiver couldn't get there. And yeah, neither could his mother. Third down and, well, good luck. See this guy drop a lot of balls in the past. Another bullshit penalty. How long are these guys gonna take this? <laughs> Third down in the offense, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. Oh, great play! He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. Nice punt. Should move him back. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. And that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and it's first and ten. I personally think that the ginormous guy is compensating for something, but I won't be the one to tell him. He refuses to go. Touchdown! I think I showed my Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a brawn in my bed, it was a kicker. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaur. Must be opposite, Dave, because he's the one who just got wiped out. And he rumbles for nine on that play. And that'll bring up second and one. That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest, I don't see a chance in hell in here. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so... First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And that catch will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. Oh, 
great catch, and that's a touchdown! Touchdown! Hey, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. First and ten. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. Play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. This is football. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. First down and three. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. I think I showed my at the yeah. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Caught for the first down. And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. First and ten. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Chris. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. Now, I'm not sure who he was throwing to on that play. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, you know this berserk dirty trick ain't fair to the QB. It's like inviting him. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! <laughs> well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but... This guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond.
And it's first and ten. Oh, with the brutal hit. Second down and five. Pow! With the brain scrambler. Third and four. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is in palm cream. That cross stitching, unbelievable. And he snags the punt and looks for a. Oh, he just got crushed. <laughs> First and ten. Good thing you know drug testing in the NFL. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food. And the two-minute warning sounds. There's not much time left at all. And it's first and ten. Defense gives up five yards there. They stop the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. The QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? He had it for a second there. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's and that's it. That's the last time out. It's score or die from here out. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. That's a nice catch for five yards. Second down and five. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. He caught it! And nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a possession. Stealing ain't right, Grim. It just ain't right. First and ten. Void rage. Because if you can't answer your question with violence, ask another. It's a touchdown!
Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmicks. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. It's the Eagles declaring victory today. Well, it looks like I'm declaring bankruptcy. I've been on the wrong team again. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I heard wounds taste just like chicken. I was it? Scrambles tomato soup. Wounds. Mm -hmm. Good. The MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. Yeah, right. Putting three words together for this guy is like you doing a Rubik's Cube. What's a Rubik's Cube? Moving on. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm the greatest, greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Bryn Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.